Borrowing money just got more expensive. Thanks for joining us live in five tonight. I'm Trisha Keen. In an effort to help tame inflation, the Fed raised interest rates by three quarters of a point for the fourth time in a row now. Abel Garcia is live with how the rate hikes are making it harder for some homeowners out there. Abel. Yeah, most certainly, Trisha. It's been a very, very difficult time for one of these owners here in Henderson who has been trying to sell this home for about three months now. But he says as a result of this interest rate spike, it is only making it more and more difficult. Herman Cochrane says he is stuck. I haven't got one offer. Yeah, not one. He tells us he put his home on the market about three months ago and has not been able to get a buyer to sign on the dotted line. He blames a continued increase in interest rates, which is raising the monthly mortgage rate for some buyers by up to $800 a month. We even thought with you know, them assuming our loan at 2.99 would be a big incentive, you know, but so far, still no bites. Founder of New Home Experts Jennifer Graff says Cochrane is not alone. She says as a result of the interest rate hikes, the number of homes on the market has gone up about 123% from this time last year, with about 8,400 homes up for sale. In her 20 years of experience with real estate, she says she has never seen anything like this. We're about seven and a quarter right now, which is just something that most people have not seen before. And uh, so it has definitely affected our market here locally. Um, sales have slowed down significantly. Graf says overall borrowing money has now become much more expensive, but it's necessary to help bring down inflation costs. Interest on everything like credit cards, car payments, and even student loans will be going up. Something Cochran says is difficult to deal with when you're trying to sell your home. Our house payment, you know, car payment, motorcycle payment, and I mean, interest rates are just going out, out of sight. Gas prices, food, I mean, it doesn't make sense. And, you know, something's got to change because if it doesn't, I don't know what people's going to do. And Graf also tells us, although it is more expensive to borrow money now, right now buyers do have an advantage when they are trying to purchase those homes. Now, right here at this home, for example, the buyers and the actual the sellers had to lower the cost of their home by $30,000. In addition to that, the sellers of this home also had to take away those closing costs, which is about $8,000. So again, yes, it is more expensive to buy and also to borrow money right now, but there are some advantages to being a buyer. Of course, he also is saying that they are expecting these interest rates to continue to go up, so make sure to weigh out your options. I'm Abel Garcia reporting live from Henderson.